Now I'm going to talk some more about the transform menu, specifically the twist command. Now twist command, the twist to be honest, is a little harder to use than bend or taper. I'm going to show you why. Again, I'll increase the size of my viewport. And let's have a little more fun this time. I'm going to draw kind of a free-flowing curve. Let's zoom out so you can see the whole curve. Select and pipe. Left click and a quick right click makes my pipe the same diameter the whole way along. So here's our pipe. Now those end caps may be a problem. Twisting is not going to like us if we try to tell it to twist a poly surface. So I'll select my poly surface. Explode command here. Now I can select both my end caps. I can hold shift and click in the exact middle to get my curve. Now with the curve and end cap selected, I'm just going to press the delete key. There. Now we're left with our hollow pipe. I'll select it. Transform and twist. Start of twist axis. Well, let's try something down here below the shape. Put the end above the shape. As you can see, the twist axis actually doesn't come into effect until you pass the origin point that I've selected. Here. So we'll click our shaded preview. As you can see, the object is twisted because this end here remains basically the same as before the twist. So we'll undo. Again, from the top view, you can see that there. Transform, twist. Let's try the opposite. Top to bottom. Angular first reference point. I'll click out here. Then I have to go back past my origin. This time, as you can see, the bottom is relatively unchanged. The top has been twisted around. Now what if we come at it from 90 degrees? Transform, twist. This time I'll come from out here to about here, first reference point. Now, as you can see, we've twisted it the other direction which is sort of twisted and squashed our shape, apparently. Basically, the way that the twist command works, if I select my object and use the twist command, the start of the twist axis marks the end of the object that is going to be twisting the most. The end of the twist axis means this is where the twist originates from, and this is where the twist is going to be the smallest. So if I were to click the end of the axis in the center of the object, what that's going to do is twist even less of the object, because everything above that point remains unchanged. I could also do the opposite. Start of twist axis, I could make the beginning of the twist in the center, with the end up here. Now, as you can see, it won't twist anything below the start of my twist axis. So you can actually get into the center of an object and twist it. Although in this case, you can see it's done some pretty strange things to the shape.